Internet, give me back my privacy. Or how to serve the web privately. I'll show you how to install some extensions for Google Chrome that will permit you to serve the web more privately and more securely. So let's open up Google Chrome. Let's go to Settings, Tools, and Extensions. Under Extensions, let's go to Browse. So the first four are going to be more security related. To start with, let's go with Kiwi SSL Enforcer. Right here, let's say Add to Chrome. Basically, what does this do is if a website has the HTTPS version available, so the secure version, like in this case, secure, it will give you access to it. So without even thinking, it will try to give you the most private and secure connection it can. Next one is called Password Fail Extension. Extension. Whoops. But there we go. Password Fail Extension. Add to Chrome. Basically what it does is anytime you type in some kind of password and you submit it and the website is going to save it as a clear text in its files, it will warn you. So a clear text in the files is bad because anybody that has access to the web server can basically check out the logs and will be able to see your password in clear text, which is something you don't want. You want encrypted. Next one is view through. Add to Chrome. Add. View through will permit you to see uh, a URL is basically an email address like this and sometimes in a message there's a tiny version of it and basically if you hover over it it will show you the full out email address so just in case it's some kind of dark fetish website that's linked and you don't really want to see that well view through will permit you to see it but then again I'm not judging if that's what you want to see and lastly for security it's called WOT world of trust uh, sorry, Web of Trust. Web of Trust basically displays a circle like this. Here we go. It's right here. When a website is trusted. So we'll keep it to basic. Um, I don't really want to register. So basically right here, people, when they like websites, they just have to go on them. And they can decide to rate them. And here we have the rating. So green is excellent. Uh, yellow is ordinary. And red is get the hell out of there. And if it has a question mark, it's basically either it's new or not many people have rated it so far. All right, so now we've secured or helped secure our browser. Now let's win our privacy back. The biggest one is called disconnect. Basically, disconnect. Disconnect. Disconnect from disconnect.me basically stops um, Google from being able to track what you're doing. So if we go on a web page, whichever one, let's go to, uh, I don't know, NHL.com. Here you can see Disconnect Me has blocked five requests from Google that wanted to track the information I was doing. So this is a nice website to win back your privacy. Uh, it also blocks Dig, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Yahoo. Next one is called Ghostery. Ghostery does something very similar to Disconnect, um, except this one. Let's get started. Um, next. So I don't necessarily want to be alerted every time it blocks one, so I'll click that. Yes, I want them to be able to auto update the library block. And basically, these are all the ones that they've already found for us. So let's click finish. So basically, anytime I reload this web page, same thing, I'd be able to block some tracking from Amazon, from NHL.com, and then more from Google. So this is Ghostery. Lastly, it's called Adblock Plus. Now, Adblock Plus is nice in a way that it gives you your privacy back by blocking unwanted ads. But it's important to remember that ads sometimes is the only form of income from some small players out there like us. So while they are good, maybe you want to allow some 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 ads for some sites. Like uh, if I come back here, I wouldn't say, but uh, if I go to under extensions. There are options and you can check, uh, change which list you want to use or if you want them updated. You can whitelist some domains, so basically if it comes 
to this domain it will not block the ads because it's a nice way for the small players to have some form of income without um, taking much out of you except maybe a bit of your time all right so now we can close everything restart Google Chrome and as we can see now in our list of extensions we are now more secure and more private so take a deep breath of fresh free internet air and go browse the web so if you've liked this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel click like or come check us on our website at www.thecomputermadesimple.com thanks have a good day